Hello Virgo, thank you for joining me. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. This reading is going to be looking at the energies between the 25th to the 31st of May. Timing is fluid, so it could be any time uh, within days and perhaps a week or two beyond those dates. But this reading is general um, for all Virgos, so um, it may resonate with you, it may not. Um, but it will, it certainly will resonate for, for quite um, a few of you, Virgos, because of your similar energies, your earth energies. Um, if you would like a more personal reading that looks at your specific energies, then please get in touch with me and the information is below this video. I have already um, done a meditation, Virgo, um, around your energies so, and a pre-shuffle, so I'm just going to finalise this shuffle now and then we'll see what the energies have to say um, at this time uh, the cards I'm using are the fairy oracle beautiful energies all right then um, Virgo let's have a look what's at the heart of your reading Oh, what a lovely card to have at the heart of your reading, Virgo. Um, this is the guardian at the gate. Now, this card is almost like, it's a little bit like an apprentice card. Um, if you look at the, all these energies here, these, these wide energies coming up, up to a, like a pyramid point, and then there's like a garland effect, that's the gate. Um, and then the energies shoot up through the gate and things have changed. So what, what, this, what this card is saying, what this card energy means is that um, before you go through the gate, what you're doing is you're working hard. You are almost like, um, like with an apprenticeship. You have to learn. You, you're, you're learning your trade. Um, you're researching, you're uh, not only uh, researching around things, but it's, it's about practical application as well. So whatever this is, Virgo, something you've been developing and working hard at, but learning, all right, and gradually building up and building up the energies around that. Now, now you are um, going through that gate um, and if you can imagine like an apprentice who has to then take exams, once he feels ready and he's learned everything he needs to learn to go to the next level, he takes his exams, qualifies, and then he doesn't look back, does he? He goes through, he's a professional now, he's qualified, um, and now he's, he's, he's qualified to do the job himself independently. So that's just an example um, for you to picture what, what is happening with the energy of this card. So what this is saying is you're either on well on the way to going through that gate or you're actually shooting up through that gate at this time. So once you've gone through this gate of, of knowledge and ability and achievement, um, there's no looking back. You, you're going to be changed. Things are, the, things are changing, basically. Now, this can mean either on um, a global level around you, um, how the global changes and energies are affecting you, and, and, and helping you to go up. Worry is a very much, very much a very personal um, energy. And, and, and for me, I just feel that that because it's at the heart of your reading, Virgo, I think this is about you um, and what you've been doing and what your process is um, at this time. It's a fantastic card um, to have at the heart of a reading. Um, for and, and particularly for you now, Virgo, you know, whatever it is you've been working hard on and learning and developing, um, you're now qualifying, you're going to be the craftsman, the tradesman um, in that area. So fantastic, Virgo, fantastic energy. So the challenge is for you. Now, this is the journeyman. Um, the, so this is not about when we arrive somewhere. This is about the journey along the way and how important the journey is and and i suppose we have to have a level of patience don't we um as we go on our journeys we take one foot one step in front of the other as we have to trust that every step is going to take us a bit nearer to where we're going but it, it's important to enjoy the journey 
um, how you're taking one step at a time. This is almost like the full card in tarot, which is right at the very beginning of the major arcana, which is about taking when it. Um, but that card is about taking a leap of faith and new beginnings. This one is is more about the journey. So you're well on your way. Um, you're still on your journey. Enjoy the journey. However, this is coming the challenge part um, of your reading. And um, I'm, I'm going back to the Guardian of the Gate. So as you're on your journey, you see, you're on your way up, aren't you, to shoot through the gate. Um, but the, it's, it's the process. It's the process and the time it takes and what you have to do on the journey that is challenging for you. I mean, Virgo, you are... You are very much a doer, aren't you? You're you're an, an earth energy. Um, you're an earth energy, so very practical minded. Um, like you like to get on and do things, but, but you are ruled. Your ruling planet is Mercury, which is the the planet of the mind, about thinking and um, clarity, honesty, truth, communication, um, and 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 thinking deeply about things and and finding resolutions and so so this you so your ruling planet is mercury but you've very much got your feet on the ground because of your earth energy um so you know it's, it's, things some things take time um and that and that and that's a challenge for you uh, there's some there's practical matters i feel that are perhaps a little bit of a challenge for you at this time because this is your energy lot you, you, you're shooting up this is your energy um, but it's about the practical things of, of what we have to do, isn't it, to get there? Okay. Um, but both lovely energies. There's nothing wrong with either of those energies. The journeyman, it's a, it's a lovely energy of its own. It's just at this time, that energy is a bit of a challenge for you. What's in your power? Now then, what can you do at this time? Now, this is topsy turvies. Now, if you look at this, We've got all these lovely different fairy, goblin, elf, um, uh, pixie, all these different um, faces, look. Um, now, they're all, some of them are upright, some of them are upside down, some of them are sideways. So uh, this is saying that it's about different perspectives. So uh, wherever each one of these pixies or elves or goblins is, they will have a different view. So the, 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 the face that's upside down looking ahead will have a different view of what he's looking at to uh, the face that's upright. They're both looking at the same thing, but they've got a different perspective. They've got a different view of that. Um, and that's what this is saying is that we all have to consider um, others' points of view. So wherever you're standing with a situation, when you may have a different view. Um, and it's about listening to that uh, and considering that different point of view. That Because our points of view, although they're important to us, they're not the only ones. They're one of many, um, as this card reflects. So this is just a nudge to you, Virgo, to sometimes take a step back and just really consider what the other people or person is saying or thinking or seeing or feeling. All right. Um, so that's just something that you, you can do. It's in your power to do that, Virgo. Remember, you are of the mind, uh, highly intelligent, very uh, intellectual, if you like, uh, a, a good thinker of things. So that should be within your power to be able to do that. Um, and then the other thing in your power, we've got the Gulcha card. Now then, the Gulcha card... <laughs> Um, is an elf. He's an elf. And let me just get this in the centre for you. Okay. Right. So, Gulcha. As you can see with the picture, um, he is, he's had both of his eyes covered because there's something he didn't want to see, he didn't want to look at, didn't want to think about. If you don't look, don't see it, you don't, it's not there, is it? So, it's it's almost that sort of an energy. However, he's just parted the fingers of, of one of his hand look and he is looking. He is now peeping through. Um 
because um, he knows that he can't keep hiding from something forever. So he is now starting to look at something um, and perhaps is going to have to deal with it. And that's why he's had his eyes covered. Um, it's perhaps something that he didn't want to see and he didn't want to have to deal with. And because if you don't see it, perhaps it'll go away. Perhaps it's not there. So the Gulcha card said, as you've, as you've peeked through your fingers, and then there it is. There it is. And so there's something. There's something around you or something coming in that you're aware of now um, that you're perhaps going to have to deal with, that you've been... It may be something just as simple as putting something off um, that you knew needed doing. Um, and... It's like that, once we're aware of it, then we can't not be aware of it any longer, can we? So it's that sort of an, an energy. And I suppose if we consider that the opposite card of the what's in your power was the um, topsy-turvy, which was needing to step back and look at something and things from another perspective, from a different point of view. Um, and it could well be that this is connected to that, that you're needing to have a look at something from a different perspective. Um, because whatever it is, it's coming in. Um, when something is nudging us and whispering out, we can cover our eyes as much as we want, can't we? But if we keep ignoring it, then it will start shouting louder until we have to listen and we have to deal with it. So I think that's what this, this card is saying. All right, Virgo, so the outcome we've got is um, gluminous loom. So gluminous loom, this is about when we're in an energy where uh, we feel our glass is half empty um, rather than half full. So we're looking at on the um, gloomy side of things. We're looking at on the negative side of things. Um, it'll be something different for all of you, Virgo. Um, but this is when we're feeling that sense of luck. Um, it may be that we're feeling we're not good enough in some area or we've, we're a bit inadequate um, or we're just a bit fed up of something and we're in this stuck energy. All right, it'll be something different for all of you, Virgo, so just take it as it resonates. And we can all be in this energy at times. I certainly can resonate with that at times. And sometimes it's just something that somebody said. You know, and, and all of a sudden we're in this energy, aren't we? And it doesn't stay. It won't last. It, it will pass. It may even be gone, be gone tomorrow, the next day after you've listened to this reading. Um, but just to be aware of it, that in, it's just an insecurity. Um, it's what's going on in your mind. Um, the, the, these energies are not always um, about something actual. It's something that, that's in the mind. And remember, we've had the, the, the gotcha... <laughs> God, something we've had to face and it may be that this um, has come through as a result alright it won't last um, because the um, right so this is a, a message from the universe for you um, and from the uh, earth energies this is the singer of healing be open for healing to come through to you now Um I'm going to get in the centre, so I'm, I'm always... Oh, that's better, yeah. Because if I've got the camera, it's sort of opposite. So the, the vision I can see is opposite to what it actually is, so so that's why I struggle a bit to get this in the centre. But the singer of healing is, as it says on the tin, you need to open yourself up now and allow, allow healing energies to come through because healing energies are coming through for you. Um, and and like the picture is, it looks like a wine glass, doesn't it? That's opening up, and you've got the beautiful energies from the universe coming, but you've also got earth energies coming up. So this is about um, being open to healing. Um, ask for healing from the universe. Ask for healing from Archangel Raphael. He's the Archangel of healing. Green beautiful um, emerald green healing so open yourself up virgo for the healing that's coming through for you now beautiful i'm going to leave it there virgo thank you for joining me if you enjoyed this reading please if you could press the like and subscribe buttons below i'd really really appreciate that thank you so much and uh, leave a comment if you want to about how it you know about whether it's had meaning for you or not. Um, but anyway, um, thank you for joining me. Do join me again in the future. Bye-bye.